Hi, I'm Rashmi and today we are going to talk as to what you should be doing in the 8th semester if you still don't have a job. I know it's very scary that you're in the final year and don't have a job yet, but don't lose heart. Here are a few tips. Um, there could be a reason why you have not got a job uh, because you, could have, you would have attended at least some 10 to 12 companies in your 7th semester. So what you have to do is to now think as to which round you're getting eliminated. It could be the apti or the GD or the interview. In case it's the aptitude, then I think you should take out all your apti books and start working all over again. Spend at least 2 to 3 hours every day on your aptitude. Use all the online platforms. There are a lot of uh, sites where, which give you a lot of um, uh, free sample papers. There are sample question papers and of course uh, the bible of uh, for all aptitude, the RS Agarwal. So start working on aptitude and if it's a GD then of course uh, your communication skills need to be uh, honed and also the uh, restart reading the paper and if you're getting eliminated in the technical round I think uh, you should start rushing up your fundamentals uh, take a look at your project seriously as to and the questions that you can expect have mock interviews and mock uh, uh, um, questions answer sessions with your uh, uh, placed students or also with the faculty uh, they will help you out and uh, sometimes it could also be your resume so what you could do is you could just check it check with someone who is uh, well versed with this or with your placement department and tweak it a little bit and uh, another reason why students don't get places because they don't attend any of the drive they're still waiting for the dream company or the uh, company of their choice or, or some high package so in case you have not got it till the 8th semester I think you should not be waiting any further start attending all the drives because the more you practice the better you will get and uh, a, a small uh, thing with students is they don't want to join a, a relatively small organization is because uh, the salary is less or something like that but I think you should not consider this uh, there are a lot of advantages of joining a smaller organization one being your joining dates are immediate you don't even have to wait second there won't be any bench period and another thing is you will be noticed by your uh, uh, CEO and all the leaders because it's a small organization you know so you get to interact with a lot of uh, people who are very senior to you and so there's a lot of learning Another thing is there are no clear cut division of roles in a smaller organization. So you may, may be multitasking and doing a lot of other things other than your regular job. So this really uh, adds to your resume, builds on your personality and uh, you will be an asset to any organization that you join. And one more tip that you students should keep in mind is that you know the um, first two years of your uh, a uh, job is an extension of your engineering so you your the job is there to you you get to learn a lot you know and on top of that get paid so don't be very much bothered about the salary just take up any job that comes your way and uh, as of now a job in hand is extremely important because once you leave the campus it's going to be extremely difficult another thing is students uh, are a little bit apprehensive about business development role and i think if some students who are not really cut out for engineering they should take it up because this will help them in their communication and marketing skills and the packages are extremely good and uh, sometimes tech support also students look down upon but I think uh, students should consider uh, taking up a tech support role also in case they don't have anything else because good organizations provide a lot of growth and it's a vertical by itself you know in fact to get into tech support is pretty tough they have sometimes 5 to 8 rounds so it's much more difficult to crack than a regular one the regular technical round and uh, there's a lot of internal movement in a good company for example if there's any opening in the co um, organization in a tech support uh, they give it first to the employees the, a chance to apply and so if you are in touch with your technical skills you could still apply and move about why i'm telling all this is that it's very important that you have a job because once you have a job you start working and the money starts coming uh, just imagine being 21 and still depending on your parents for money I think that's the worst thing that can happen to any student so take up a job and then once you go to a city for example most of the students from here go to Bangalore you know there are more opportunities over here there's a structure to your life there's a routine you start networking you meet people uh, you have your own money to attend interviews uh, you can uh, attend uh, some classes you don't have to depend on anyone and uh, you know many a time students have student loans also and without a job all the pressure mounts up you know and so it's very demoralizing for students so my sincere request to all the students is to as of now take up all uh, take, attend all the drives and take up any drop, job that comes your way and then if you know if you're not very happy then you can later on change but as of now do attend drives and take up a job and with this i end and wishing you all the very best